Hello everyone! Today's video is going to be a tutorial on a beachy look that I did on Beauty Bootcamp for Daily Mix. The link will be on my face now so you can go watch it before you watch this video. So to recap, we had to go up to Pixie Woo, pick a card um, with a theme on it and then do that theme on ourselves. My theme ended up to be beach which I actually really liked because I love coral colours and I use them all the time so this is really exciting for me to do. So this is the look that I recreated. Um, some of the colours um, like my lips are different because I couldn't find the lipstick that I used. So please keep watching and enjoy the video. The first product that I actually used was the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I don't own that foundation, that was just available to me there and then. I suppose the closest one that I've got is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation but it hasn't got a proper SPF in it so um, I wouldn't use this for a beach look anyway. So the foundation that I'm actually going to use is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and this is in NW15. Um, and it's got an SPF of 10 so it's perfect for the beach and um, good for a long day at the beach because it's a long wear foundation. So that's the one I'm going to use. I might not use exactly all the products because I didn't get all the products um, but I'm going to recreate it as much as possible really. But the first thing I'm actually going to do is moisturise with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel. And this is because I've got a couple of spots at the moment um, and they're pretty dry so I don't want the foundation clinging to that. So I'm just moisturising them and then I'm going to do a quick moisturise of the rest of my face. And under my eyes because I don't want them to get dry because your eye area is sensitive and it can make big bags under your eyes. So. I always make sure I moisturise under my eyes, even if it's not an anti-aging one. Um, I'm just a bit confused about anti-aging ones, like, do I really want to spend all that money when I don't really know what's going to happen? Um, I can't see any results for like 10 years or something. Now I'm going to get onto the foundation. So I've just got a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. Uh, I was out on Saturday night with my friends for her 21st birthday. So Rachel, I know you're watching this because you watch all my videos. Um, I had a great night, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, just a few squirts on there. And then I'm going to get my Real Techniques buffing brush and buff that into the skin. have to make sure that it's um, blended down my neck because it's not very often that I get a foundation that actually actually properly fits me because my neck is paler than my face and my face is all sorts of colours. In the winter I usually match to my neck so I go for paler ones because it is the winter but in the summer um, foundations that seem a tiny bit too dark or a bit tanned for me I usually just use anyway because um, it looks alright in the end. It's not a big coverage because it hasn't covered my spots. It's covered them mostly but not all of them. All of it so um, I'm going to have to conceal over the top of that. And it, this foundation is quite good because it does make your skin look like skin still. It's still sort of, um, I don't know if you can see this, but it, can you see my freckles still out a little bit? Now I'm going to get my concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. fresh-eyed, ready for the day, 
natural beauty. And then more spots. Next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows, and for this I used the MAC 208 brush, which is an angled eyebrow brush, and then the Sleek Brow Kit in dark. So the first thing I used is the cream one. So the first thing I do is draw a line um, from the top of my arch, um, well, the like, middle of my arch, um, to where I want it to finish, so I get that nice pointy line and then I go from the top corner of my um, arch to the bottom of that line again and then what I do is I do, um, I fill that in a little bit and then I fix the bottom of the arch by just uh, filling that in a tiny bit and that's the outer part of my eyebrow done. The next thing I do is um, my eyebrows are a bit thin and sparse like at the top so um, I usually fill that in so I add an extra say millimetre or two millimetre and a half of eyebrow using the um, the cream so I'm literally just drawing sort of over the top of my natural brow and joining it up sort of fill in the rest, wipe off the excess on the back of my hand and then draw a faint line like that so you can't really even see that there's anything there but it makes them look a lot neater and then I sort of just really lightly, I always keep my um, concealer brush handy when I'm doing my eyebrows just because usually I'll have to use it again. I sort of do it differently every time anyway. That one's better. Okay, so the next thing I used is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This one I got free with my Naked One palette. And I like this one because it has the little wand that you can um, use. It seems like a different formula, like a really thinner formula than the other two that I've got, which are like tube ones for some reason. I have no idea why. But um, yeah. So then the next thing I used um, eyeshadow wise is I either used Floof by MAC or Strange from the Naked 2 palette, I think. One of the lightest one in the Naked 2 palette. But they're practically the same anyway. Uh, the Naked 2 palette one is probably a little bit more pinky. So I'm just um, using a MAC 239 brush. And putting it lightly on the inner corners of my eye and a little bit on the bottom lash line and then bringing it into my lid a tiny bit then what I used is Paradisco by MAC and it's this beautiful um, corally gold colour um, it's not very pigmented like the others um, like you really have to scrub at it so what I used is Max Fix Plus spray you can use water if you want and I sprayed a little bit on my brush like so dabbed it on the back of my hand and then went in with Paradisco and just picked up some colour and it goes like a really metallic -y, liquid looking thing and then I use that on the 
outer two thirds of my lid. And I've really loaded that on because I really wanted the colour to share. I think I might have put a little bit on my bottom lash line as well, but I don't know. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Right in the middle because we've already got um, floof on the inner corner. Um, so we want to put this in the middle and then we'll put the crease colour um, on the outer bit um, later on. So then I think I used either Liar or Factory out of the Naked 3 palette and talked about um, either this one or this one. I think I'm going to go for Liar. I'll probably add a darker colour in there as well um, but for now I'm just going to use Liar. And this is a MAC 217 brush. And I'm really lightly circling it into my crease. Yeah, I definitely used another colour after this. Like that. Wipe off the excess on your brush. And then I'm going to go back in with... I'm going to go with Mug Shot, which is this one here really tiny bit only really want a little bit I'm then going to take a Wayne Goss brush in 05 this is a really really small fluffy brush and I'm going to take some of Mug Shot Then I'm going to go back in with my MAC 208 brush. I'm going to go in with Brun by MAC, which is a really dark brown, matte brown. And I'm literally going to take it on to my lash line instead of an eyeliner. And I'm just like pushing it into the um, lashes. So I don't want a harsh line or anything. That's why I'm using powder rather than creams. really want a soft look. And then I'm going to take it a tiny bit out. Make a tiny really light flick. Now back to my face for a minute. And I'm going to use the um, Real Techniques contour brush. I'm now going to do some highlighting and I'm going to use my all time favourite MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. To apply that to my cheekbones. Well, above my cheekbones. And to my nose a little bit. Above my eyebrows. A little bit on my forehead. Cupid's bow and a little bit of my chin. Then I'm going to wipe the excess off. I'm then going in with the Sleek Face Form palette in light. And I'm using the contour colour from that. And I'm just contouring my cheekbones. I'm then going to take the blush out of that palette and the Real Techniques blush brush. For mascara, I'm going to use the Collection Volumizing Mascara. This is a really nice mascara. Um, it doesn't really clump and it looks quite natural. So that's why I like wearing it. I can't actually find the lipstick that I used. It was Custer Sheet by MAC, but um, instead, because I can't find it, I'm going to use the NARS, what is this? Satin Lip Pencil. It's a really, really nice orangey colour. This is just really nice and creamy. Really got into NARS products lately. 
and this is the final look. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below so you can let me know if you liked it or not. If you missed it at the beginning of the video then click my face to go to the daily mix video. Also don't forget to check out all the other girls that were in Beauty Boot Camp with me. I've got Alini that will be linked here, Rosie that will be linked here, Poppy and Rapinda. Don't forget to check out their channels because they are amazing girls and we got on so so well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Love you, bye! Hello everyone! This video is linked to Daily Mix's Beauty Boot Camp. As you probably know already, I was a contestant. You can click on my face now and it will take you to the video where I received a load of makeup and this is a haul of that makeup. <laughs>